Thank you. I'll be somewhat brief. My name is Jenna Stern, and I live with my family on Dean Street in the Newswalk building. We are Brooklyn residents for over 20 years, and despite other opportunities, decided to raise our child here. Our building and our neighborhood has a strong base of working families. The original promise of development within a 10-year timeline was casually extended to perhaps 25 years, affecting an entire generation in this neighborhood. During the build-out of the arena, we were forced to call 311 repeatedly and even directed to call 911 in order to get a response to violations of noise, light, air pollution, double, triple parked cars, idling trucks, etc. Others will speak of specific promises broken and lack of accountability and lack of transparency and lack of community input, all of which are true. But what it boiled down to for me is this, a fundamental lack of respect for our neighborhood. And that's what it is. It's our neighborhood. It's not collateral damage. It's where we live, where our kids play baseball, practice soccer, go to school. We have a right to those sidewalks being kept clear so our kids don't have to walk in the street to get around cars. We have a right to have our trees replanted. We're still missing 70 of them. We have a right to a certain level of compliance, compliance to guidelines and laws governing noise and air pollution. Simply put, you need to keep the promises that you made to us. As was shown all too clearly the last time, no one was very interested in doing that. So that means we need an impartial monitor. We need a dedicated public development corporation or subsidiary with a board that includes directors appointed in conjunction with local elected officials. We need effective and responsive oversight. Thank you. <laughs>